we are gonna go over some density practice problems. And as you can see, we're gonna do some easy, medium, hard, and then using density as a conversion factor, which I think is actually the hardest because you have to think critically about this step, okay? Let's just jump right in. All right, so question one. We have 20.0 milliliters of olive oil and it is 18.4 grams. Find the density, all right? So step one, what I would always recommend you do is just write density equals mass divided by volume. Just write out your equation. That way you will make sure you set up your equation correctly, okay? And this is definitely the easiest type of, of density problem you could do because you're given the mass and you're given the volume. So, you know, density equals my mass is 18.4 grams divided by 20.0 milliliters, all right? And then you beep, boop, beep into your calculator and it tells you density is 0 0.92 grams per mil. Okay, now if I was paying attention to my sig figs, all right, I would notice that this one starts with one, two, three sig figs. This one also has one, two, three sig figs. So my answer should have three sig figs. So my answer should have three sig figs. I only have one, two sig figs here. So the way I fix that is I need to add a zero at the end. So my density is going to be 0 0.920 grams per mil. All right, that was easy. All right, question two is gonna be our, our medium level question. All right, so the density of gold is 19.3 grams per centimeter cubed. So I'm given the density, you have three point. 3.0 centimeters cubed of gold for a necklace, find the mass. First step is just set up density is mass divided by volume. And now plug in what you have. So I have the density. So 19.3 grams per centimeter cubed equals mass. Nope, I need to find mass, so that's my unknown. Divided by volume, why yes I have it. 3.0 centimeters cubed, okay? So I set up my problem correctly, and now I just solve for mass. So right now mass is being divided by three. So I need to multiply the right by 3.0 centimeters cubed and multiply the left by 3.0 centimeters cubed. I apologize for so many planes in the background. My house is right on the kind of flight trajectory of the fire planes. So obviously with California, like completely on fire right now. They're just going back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so 3.0 centimeters cubed cancels out from this side. And then you'll notice centimeter cubed will cancel on this side. All right, I'll do that in a different color. Okay, my units cancel, which is really, really good because then I'll get 19.3 times three, which gives me an answer of 57.9. And then I'm in units of grams. Right, because centimeters cubed cancel, and this would equal my mass. Okay, and grams is a unit of mass. So you always wanna double check your units to make sure that you're solving this correctly, right? If you set this up correctly, your units should cancel out and you should get exactly the unit you need for whatever you're solving for, all right? So hooray, I'm done, except not quite. If I was gonna do this with the correct amount of sig figs, right, this has one, two, three sig figs, this has one, two sig figs. So my answer needs to have two sig figs. So 57.9, I can keep the 57. The nine is gonna make the seven round up. So I should get 58 grams as my answer, okay? All right, so a hard question. The density of aluminum is 2.70 grams per centimeter cubed. So you're given density. And it says you have a 4.25 gram of aluminum block. Find the volume. All right, first things first, density equals mass divided by volume and plug in what you know. All right, so my density, 2.70 grams per centimeter cubed equals my mass right here, 4.25 grams divided by my volume is my unknown. Okay, the reason this is hard is because the unknown you're solving for is on the denominator, okay? So if math is not super duper your thing, or if it's just been a while solving for something on the denominator, 
here's my trick for how I would set this up, okay? What I would do is, is fix your density so that you can say it's 2.70 grams per one centimeter cubed, okay? Because anything divided by one is still its same number. So you're not changing anything about the density, all right? You're keeping that number the same, but now you have a much easier problem to solve because you can do your crisscross method with equivalent fractions. And let's write that out, okay? So if I wrote this out as 2.70 grams for every one centimeter cubed, that's gonna equal 4.25 grams for every, I don't know how much my volume is for V, okay? And now to solve, we do, sometimes it's called the butterfly method or the crisscross method, however you may have learned from elementary school, I think is when, <laughs> is when they do this, right? Okay, so you'll take these two guys multiplied by each other equals these two guys multiplied by each other, okay? Then you won't have your, your unknown, your, what you're solving for on your denominator, okay? So if I did this correctly, I would get, let's see if I can fit it here, 2.70 grams times my volume equals 4.25 grams times one centimeter cubed, okay? These two guys multiplied by each other equals these two guys multiplied by each other. And now I just need to solve for volume, all right? So to solve for V, I need to get rid of this 2.70. Right now it's being multiplied, so the way to get rid of it is to divide. So divide by 2.70 grams on my left, which means I'm going to divide by 2.70 grams on my right. And you'll notice grams and grams are gonna cancel, right? So those grams will reduce out, which means my volume is going to be in a centimeter cubed unit. Hooray. Okay, then you just beep, boop, beep in your calculator and you'll get that your volume equals 1.57407 centimeters cubed. But your calculator's stupid and you're much smarter than your calculator. So you know that you can have one, two, three, one, two, three, three sig figs, all right? Which means I can have the 1.57. The four does not make the seven round up. So my answer is 1.57 centimeters cubed for my units. And boom, we're done. All right, that was hard or a trickier type question, all right? And now the trickiest of all, okay? Question number four is going to use density as a conversion, all right? So you can actually use the density of whatever you are working with as a conversion factor, right? Just like we remember that one inch is 2.54 centimeters, right? This is a conversion factor. You could set it up like one inch for every 2.54 centimeters, all right? This is exactly like what a density is. A density is one unit over another, okay? So you can use density as a conversion factor. And let's do an example of that. All right, so you could have a question like this, okay? Blood plasma has a density of 1.027 grams per mil. All right, so it's giving me the density of blood plasma, which is kind of an important thing to learn about and know about right now, especially with coronavirus, potential uh, plasma therapeutics, okay? So blood plasma density, and then it says find the volume of my blood plasma in mils for 125 grams of plasma, okay? So now it gets tricky and I just use my density just like I would for any other conversion factor. And just like for any conversion, I start with what I'm given. So I am given, right? I have 125 grams of plasma. Set up a blank conversion. I need to cancel out grams and get it into mils. That's what it's asking for, okay? 
Now that I've set up a blank conversion, I can use density as my conversion factor, okay? And if you look right here, this is my density, 1.027 grams for every one mil, right? So make sure when you're setting up your actual conversion that your grams, the number that goes with grams, continues to go with grams. So make sure that you have this as 1.027 grams for every one milliliter, okay? So you've used density as your conversion factor and that's it, right? Grams and grams will cancel. I'm gonna get an answer into milliliters and I just take my calculator, 125, divided by 1.027, okay? This is on the denominator. So anytime a number's on the denominator, you divide. So you could literally type 125 times one divided by 1.027. And I would get the answer of 121.714 mils. And of course I can't keep this. I have one, two, three sig figs here, one, two, three, four sig figs here. So three sig figs is the most that I can have. So one, two, three, and the seven does make the one round up. So my total answer would be 122 milliliters of blood plasma. That's it. Okay, lots of density questions. Hopefully that helps.